Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review-ish thing. This is actually a customization video. We are taking the short spoiler off the All-Star car and putting on a custom spoiler that is the All-Star spoiler. So it's going to look the right way and it's going to have all the right stuff on it. So um, basically we're going to put those on. So we'll have our, uh, we'll have the um, accurate spoiler. And um, I've already got it torn part way apart. Didn't need to waste too much time. You guys have seen other reviews of mine. If you didn't, uh, six screws, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are underneath the splitter. So if you don't see them when you first look under the car, don't freak out. Splitter goes over it, pops out, just two tabs. Um, you know, just use a flat screwdriver or something, kind of put it around underneath and it'll poke right out. It won't take too much. Um, this car's been, unfortunately, a test car for, um, you know, this because of obvious paint defects right there. <sighs> if it wasn't red, it wouldn't be so bad, but it's just bright red. So, uh, as you can see, I've already removed the spoiler. Those are the two slots that are left when you remove the spoiler. Um, the spoiler came out in pieces, so this is what it looks like after I've mangled it. Uh, basically, what happens is, I'll show you on the new one. And then I'll show you kind of what I had to do on the old one. But um, it goes in, those two little tabs at the bottom, you just kind of squish in there and they, they settle in. And uh, the other one, they've got them all molded and bent out of shape underneath. So they kind of, you know, mold and stick tight to it. Um, but you basically have to scrape it away until it's down to just this. And then you can kind of peel it up um, off of the, like out of the car. So once you get down to about this much, you can just kind of pop right out but you have to kind of scrape away at all the little plastic and i just used a little razor blade and a couple little things uh you know always be careful don't ever jam and re really get rough with it just kind of you know finesse but uh anyway so that's how i got that off now we're going to put the new um the new spoiler on so i'm um, looking right now to see if i have a cloth sitting somewhere that i can put my car on upside down and it does not look like I have one at the moment so I'm probably going to have to use an improv improvised something well maybe we'll see here it might step it might snap in okay we'll see uh, anyway we'll pop this up here get you, so you can see better it's gonna go on like this here as you can see it is a little bit bigger um, on here than it is on the right there but once you get it on there you're gonna have to give it quite a push that's what I was told so actually that's on pretty good let's see what it looks like underneath no you just gotta snap it through okay so he made them just a little bit bigger um, that way you can give it some pressure and it'll push it right through and as you can see that's what that's supposed to look like when it's all said and done you'll have a nice good looking um, spoiler on there and it should make it look a lot better um, let's see, I'm going to have to get some good pressure to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably just set it on my lap. Uh, sorry I can't get it so you can see it right off the bat. Um, but again, I want to make sure I get this on there correctly. Actually, it's on there pretty good. If anything, I just need to add a little bit of, um, a little bit of an adhesive of some kind, maybe so that it goes all the way through. Because it does seem to be all the way in. Yep, that's in all the way. So what I think I'm going to do is just add a little adhesive to it. And that should do the trick. Just a little something underneath to uh, help it get into place. Um, hmm. Because as I said, I got it all the way through. Um, I'm learning also uh, right as I'm doing this video. So um, by no means have I, you know, done one of these before. This is my first one. I just wanted to show it off. I think it's really cool. But, um, yeah. Yeah sure does seem like it's all the way in certainly doesn't seem like you can go much further in there but yeah that, that seems like that's where it's supposed to be so 
Um, what I'll probably do is use a little adhesive on the bottom side of it. And that's what I'm doing right now is I'm adding a little bit of adhesive. I don't recommend this method. Um, I will have to ask the guy who made it about if that was the right, if I'm putting that on the right way. Because right now, currently blowing some air on it to help it dry nice and quickly. Because it does look correct. I'll, I will put it that way. It looks exactly like I would expect it to. Um, and as I said, I think that's how it's supposed to go. I just don't like putting that much adhesive on there. Because I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. So I'll show you here in just a sec once I get the last little bit of adhesive on there. So what I'm doing, and this is why I don't recommend it, is I'm using super glue. Super glue and die cast are a big time no-no. Highly don't ever recommend using it, uh, even though I'm using it right now. But it's because I, I know what I'm doing in terms of the gap. So here, now it's all pretty well dried out. There we go. So when you see that, that's, that's what it looks like there. Underneath, I have glued it. Um, and then what I'm going to do actually, too, is pop this open. Yeah, see, that's, that's one of the dangers. You want to make sure you get that popped open before it glues itself shut. And then you want it to make sure it dries to the right part of the, um, to the die cast. There we go. Popped right open. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I get a little paper in here and clean it up. Unfortunately, I haven't shown you hardly anything on this die cast yet because I'm so busy doing it all off of camera so that I can get a good view. Did not go as expected is what I will say. It definitely went a little crazy. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to look okay. I'll probably cut this video short and then I'll just edit it from there. Because you guys don't have really anything to watch. Um, but anyway, here I am putting a... Oh, careful there. There we go. Okay. So here I put it in there. You can see where the glue's at on the bottom there. Just holding it steady. I'm leaving it open. I want all the glue to dry before I do anything else with the die cast. Um, sorry about the thing being so far off screen all the time. Um, but yes, so the... the um, the spoiler is on there. Um, everything's fine on the hinge and everything. It just what it did is it got a little on here and a little on here, and it basically stuck itself together and it you know glued itself shut. And so what I'm doing is making sure that I don't have any of it with the ability to get wet. So um, it's just going to dry like that. I'll put the car back together. But overall, this is what the new um, the new rear end is going to look like. So I'll just kind of get it down to about there. See, there's a little sticky spot somewhere on the bottom here that I'm going to try and get rid of. And it looks like I did. It looks like I'm okay here. So, um, that's what it'll look like. Um, that rear spoiler is going to be nice big. It's got the rabbit ears on it. Um, this was a custom spoiler I got from Anthony's Custom Diecast. Uh, there's the email there. You can email at, uh, or it's Facebook. You can Facebook in there. And he can get you, um, he does a lot of fun stuff. He's also doing some go bowling trophies and, um, for like Chase Elliott's win. And so we, um, we'll have to go ahead and, you know, take a look at one of those. But, um, yeah, that's where I got it from to get this done. So, uh, not too bad, a little, little weird. Um, didn't really care for having to use glue, but you know, it's a custom piece. So not surprised, but, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, you know, it, it's a custom piece so we'll have to see where it goes from there but anyway this has been race craze thank you all for watching appreciate it and we will see you all in the next diecast review